Hello everyone, you're watching Hitman on YouTube and today we are going to learn something new. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare a business card design for print in Adobe Illustrator. The most important part of uh, uh, preparing design for print is making a proper document settings. So first uh, we should uh, make a new document and go file new and uh, make 90 millimeters by 50 millimeters in CMYK. This is very important uh, not to be uh, RGB. Uh, RGB is just for uh, online display. So uh, this uh, CMYK is uh, setting for uh, print and make it uh, 300 uh, points per inch. This is just setting for a printer, not for a screen resolution. Uh, you make bleed 3 millimeters. And uh, this is the initial setup. Uh, these things are very important. Uh, the size is not important and uh, it, uh, it varies, uh, it depends on uh, what uh, business card uh, size and look you, you want. This is just uh, some template uh, in, uh, in some uh, printers. So uh, this is the initial setup and you click OK. First thing you see here is uh, this uh, rather rectangle. Uh, this is a so-called bleed, and uh, bleed is a, a printing term that refers to printing that goes beyond the edge of the sheet before trimming. In other words, the bleed is the area to be trimmed off. The bleed is a part of, uh, on the side of the document that gives the printer a small amount of space to account for movement of the paper and design inconsistencies. Artwork and background colors can extend into the bleed area. After trimming, the bleed ensures that no unprinted edges occur in the final trim document. So uh, this is the initial setup and uh, we can now uh, make uh, the artwork. <coughs> the next very important thing is the safe zone. The safe zone is uh, just like uh, the bleed uh, is uh, the place, the zone where you put all of your important information. On a business card this would be your name, address, phone number and so on. So uh, this uh, ensures that your information will not be cut off or jammed up against the edge of your prints. Larger safe zones work as well. So we make, uh, how do we make these uh, so called safe zones? Uh, we can uh, draw them and uh, delete them later when we uh, finish the artwork, but uh, I, uh, I uh, do this uh, going by, uh, to a view and uh, first of all uh, rollers and show rollers, so we get these rollers on the uh, artboard and uh, again uh, we go and uh, make the so-called guides. So I uh, locked them uh, and uh, when I uh, drop them on uh, the art board, uh, they are locked and uh, can't be uh, moved. So you just uh, hold your uh, right click and uh, right here and make and drop them here. So you zoom in and make sure that uh, those uh, safe zones are uh, on 3 millimeter. So again I make uh, 3 millimeter safe zone uh, for the, each uh, side of the design. We go and uh, if uh, initial artboard is uh, 50 and uh, say uh, this bleed is 3 millimeters, we go uh, 50 minus 3 is 47 and we make this safe zone, this guide here and we do this for each side. So A7 for this side and 3 for this. So we made uh, this, uh, those gu uh, these guides uh, to make sure that uh, the important information in your design uh, doesn't get cut off. After setting up uh, the safe zone and bleed, uh, we are ready to make the artwork. Uh, now I'll just uh, make uh, the background plain white and it goes uh, to, to the end of the bleed edges. Just 
make it white. So uh, the next thing uh, is uh, importing the logo and any other important info that you want to put on your business card design. I'll just uh, leave here a logo and make sure it's uh, inside the safe zone. Uh, I'll group it up and uh, align it. So this can be uh, just uh, the back side of the business card and without those informations you can make uh, the front uh, of the business card with all the info. Uh, I just don't want to lose uh, time explaining and making uh, the artwork. I just want to explain how to uh, wrap it up for press. So uh, this uh, this is uh, the artwork and you uh, you made what you want. Uh, the next thing is uh, making it uh, uh, bring it, uh, it for print uh, and exporting it in PDF form. So you go file export and go uh, sorry go to file save as and uh, save it as uh, PDF. And you go okay. Click on save, and uh, this is the important uh, setup. Uh, you go. Uh, I don't. I leave all uh, the initial setup uh, untouched. So I just go to marks and lead, and um, check uh, these uh, three marks: registration marks and color bars. And uh, I'll leave uh, everything as it is. So uh, I don't uh, touch these uh, any of these settings. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, as from the, the start, uh, when I made this document, uh, it uh, had bleeds uh, three millimeters on each side. So I go to save PDF. <coughs> And uh, we'll see what we got. You see, this is design, and uh, the size of the business card uh, is uh, roughly from uh, the point that uh, these lines uh, uh, intersect. So from here to here to here, here to here. Uh, those are registration and trim marks and uh, color bars that uh, make. Uh, Printing design easier, and uh, this is this is all set up for for print. And I hope uh, I uh, I helped you, and this was useful information for you. Bye.